Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a really cool video. This is going to be how I cut my top loaders or ID plastic and my Ziploc. I have a few different types of Ziploc, but it mainly stays with Glad because Glad is my all-time favorite. So once you are done with cutting everything, you will have something that looks like this. So you will have a piece of plastic and then a piece of Ziploc. So if you want to see how you can achieve this, then make sure to keep watching. So the supplies you're going to need is some sort of Ziploc with the bag attached. Some sort of ID plastic. I use top loaders. These are in the same section as the trading cards at Walmart. You will need some sort of tape. I'm using gray tape. Scissors. I'm using these. These are the Duck Brand Edition. This sort of box cutter, you can use the regular X-Acto knives, but I like using the box cutters. And then some sort of ruler. First thing I'm going to teach you guys how to do is cut the Ziploc. This is very, very easy. It doesn't really need much teaching, but I have got asked how I cut it. What I'm going to do is just take my scissors, and this may be weird, but I just cut a ton of the plastic off, and I still leave a ton. I use my Ziploc upside down, so I put the tape on this side. So I'm going to cut it right above the Ziploc. I'm going to leave just a little bit of the plastic still on. So it should look something like this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down. My bag is kind of like deformed, so it's being weird. But I'm going to just cut it down and I'm going to put about not even a half an inch, so a little bit less than half of an inch. Then what I'm going to do is cut off the end. This one is kind of folded, so I'm going to cut a little bit more off, but normally I just cut very, very little, like this side is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut where it is glued, and that is it. Now I'm going to cut my Ziploc down, so I'm going to get my X-Acto knife or box cutter, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to line it up with one of the lines on the squares. I'm going to cut it to be a little bit more than three and a half, but not quite three and three-fourths. Then you have your Ziploc that you can make a coin pouch out of, so there is that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to cut the top loader and how I make it into a piece of ID plastic. I'm going to take my scissor trim along the sides. The pieces on the sides are very, very hard and it can be tough to get them off. So these three pieces, you can just go ahead and trash them because you do not need them. Then you will be left with two pieces of plastic like this. You can lay it one to the side, and this is when your tape is going to come in. Again, I'm using gray. I'm going to cut a piece of tape that is around two inches long. It does not have to be perfect. And then I'm going to cut that in half so I have two pieces that are two inches long. I'm going to take my top loader and the part that I had not cut any of the hard plastic off of, which is the starter side. I'm going to lay that on the inch line. I'm going to put it to where I'm not putting it quite like this. I'm going to put it a little bit of the plastic going over this side and this side. And then I'm going to add just a piece of tape to the top of it. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with these first set of dots and I'm going to cut down that. And then for this, I'm just going to cut straight down. Your ID plastic should be 2 and 1 fourth. Now what you're going to do is just take the piece of tape that is on the rough side and you're going to put that on one of your sides like this. And it should look like this. I'm sorry, this is kind of confusing. Then you're just going to lay it back down on the inch line and line up the straight side of the top loader with the inch line. And make sure your tape is sticking to your cutting mat because you don't want this to come up. Then you're going to cut on the first set of lines right here. There is not a lot of plastic to cut off, but it should be 3 and 3 fourths inches long. And then you can just peel that up or tape off and then you have a piece of ID plastic that is 2 and 1 fourth inches tall and then 3 and 3 fourths inches long. And then you have your cut plastic and your ziplock so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's kind of short but you guys have been requesting how i cut these i'm pretty sure this is most likely going to be more helpful ones that have just become into the taping community but if you guys did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't seen my last video make sure to go watch it the link will be down in the description and i will see you guys in the next video